Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So, you guys were asking for some map guides. I know this might be old for a game like Battle 2042, but here we are. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to make a dedicated video for every single map in the game, and that's going to happen slowly over time. Okay, so we've got news coming from like Delta Force, we've got news from, coming from the next Battlefield game, or even Battlefield 2042. And between those videos, between like the other videos, we've got these kind of map guys for you as well. So today I decided to go for Discarded because it's literally one of my favorite maps in the game. I'm gonna give you everything I know about every objective and then we'll see how things go. All right, so we're now at A site. About this side, the only issue with this is being between these containers will not allow you to contest the site, okay? So like, wandering around here uh it's not gonna be the ideal option you've got like the only safe place maybe for you and a place that you can actually contest the site is here anywhere out there is like you uh like being in danger from many directions like you see if you are like here contesting the site you might be shot from here someone might come from here someone might come from here and also from here so this is not a cool place to be what i'm gonna do if i were you i would just try to wander around here like like this for example contesting the site from here is literally just easier you've got like more cover definitely have more cover here you can easily pick off people when trying to cross you from right and left so there's no there's not going to be any problem there also you might be able to do something like this people won't expect you from here you know you're going to contest the site anyway and they're not going to be able to like predict that you're here the first thing that people try to search here when they when you are actually the enemy here they're going to be searching for this area especially here especially here okay so that's not somewhere you want to be so one of the cool places was here and a very safe place is here you can also you know peek here if someone's back there you're going to be literally hit glitched and that dude's going to be down You've also got this, which is not bad. So you can contest the side from here as well, but you're completely in danger from this side. And you're open. You don't literally have any cover. But people don't really attack you from here if they are defending. Maybe, maybe like they, they spawn there, like there or maybe there. But this is not the best place you can be. In my opinion, the best place to contest the site safely is here. And if you want to be aggressive up there, and if you want to take a lot of risk, this is the place for you. So that's how you're going to contest this site. Also, I would try to stay away from like these containers because they look like a freaking maze for me. Just try to stay out. Okay. If you want to contest the site, do that. So if you're coming here for defend, uh, my suggestion is you just starting from around here, like get in from here and then start searching around carefully. So that's basically all I have to say about A site. Okay. So now we're at B sites. And as you can see, there's a lot of verticality in this place. First thing I want to show you, like you should really know this. If you want to just mess around with some people and like you want to contest a site or at least be in the site and these people not knowing where you are, this is the place. Okay. You're gonna get here and get under. Those guys are not going to be able to see you. This is so dark, I barely see myself, literally. Look, and you can enter from both sides, okay? This is a ridiculous place. I literally just found this myself. I never looked at a video or anything. Just was trying to mess with some people one day, and then I just went straight here. One of the main things about this site is the verticality, and it is very important for you to have the height advantage here. So I always recommend you to play here. This is the safest place, in my opinion, especially if you have, like, C1. This is going to be the safest place for you. Now, the game's going to be spawning people from here, here, you know, all the way. You're gonna see people coming from there even. And you have the higher ground. You can at least track them until they get inside. You have a lot of time. Imagine someone's running from there all the way to here. You can easily kill them four or five times before they even reach the building. Also, you have the height advantage here. And one interesting thing about this place, which is completely the opposite, comparing to that part of the building, is that you've got cover here as well. Like if you peek from here, let's say, someone peeks you there, they're gonna get get the cover here. They have no other choice. They, they're gonna go back there. They're gonna be really predictable compared to you. Also, you have the higher ground. You can see all the sight from up here. And there's one important thing. If you just need to run away from here, You've got a zip line. Boom. You're out. There's one important thing here as well. There's this cover for you. If you're being shot from here, you at least have cover somewhere to hide yourself. And if you have like a weapon that you can actually uh, counter these guys, they're going to be doing that as well. Behind cover. You're going to be literally head glitched. It's going to be really hard for them to hit you. They're going to be head glitched, but you're going to be head glitched as well. So no worries there. So my suggestion for you is never play down here 
unless it's absolutely necessary. Like, you know that there's someone hiding here. There's like some dude trying to mess around with you, hiding in these containers, and I'm fine. It's, it's, okay. it's okay, just get down there, kill him, and if you can test the side, just move on, okay? But don't play down there. And now let's take a look at C1. So it's really a complicated site here, to be honest. You've got a submarine, which is hang. You can basically play here above the submarine. The only problem here is you're not going to be contesting the side from up here. And this is really important, especially if you're playing with your squad. Like three of your people can go down there and start contesting the side. You can actually be the eye in the sky and start covering basically everywhere in the side. You've got access to everything. There's every single corner that there is in this site. You can be looking at it from up here. So it's going to make it really easier for your squad to defend the side and contest it. There's also something that a lot of people don't know. You can actually get in there simply just like this. Okay. You can actually place like radio beacons here and it's going to be really hard to find. You're going to be contesting the side as well and you can actually do the exact same on the other side as well and do the exact same. Just like that. And the radio beacon is really like interesting here because it's going to take a lot of time for these people to be able to find it. At least for the average Joe, it's not going to be that easy. There's also this place. I wanted to show you. Uh, this is a perfect place for you to hold here. Nobody's going to expect you here, okay? Imagine you're someone coming here to defend this site, okay? You're going to check here, like, at best here. You're, like, you worry about those kind of places, right? You worry about here. You're not going to be checking there, you know? Someone, like, creeping in there. It's a really interesting place if you want to contest the site and you're waiting for people to come at you. And even if someone comes from here, they're not going to be able to see you. No, no way. This is actually a cool place as well for you to hide. And I've done this before. When you come up here, like, instead of being, like, down here, when you come up here, it's going to be really harder for the enemy to predict where you are. Like, these guys come and aim here, and boom. You're up here. You gotta try to be as unexpected as possible. Like, you shouldn't be as predictable as a average player if you want to be better than the most players. But this, there's also this place. Really safe. Doesn't take a lot of time to get in. Like, you usually jump here and sit down. Like that. And you're basically head glitched. Yes, you can't move, really. You have that issue. All in all, that's a great place to be as well. You gotta try to stay under the submarine. On it. Or maybe somewhere that they, they're not gonna look... Like by default, like here. There's also one more thing. Let me show you this. Uh, you can actually contest the site from here as well. So this is a very unexpected place to be. Like the enemy comes here and they literally have no idea that you might be able to contest the site from here as well. This is a perfect place. You can contest the site as well and you have a high advantage. You have a unexpected place to be. This is a very interesting spot to contest the site from as well. And it works with all the pillars. Like all the pillars are okay with this method. So let's go and take a look at C2. B1 and C2 are literally the most important objectives in this map. The only issue with this site is like people might actually have some ridiculous high advantage over you. And that's because of this tower right there. And people can go all the way to the top and they're going to be here. And they're going to be head glitched regardless of where they are. Literally head glitched. And you're here with your whole body standing, looking at them, not being able to do anything. So I suggest that you always try to be around here, somewhere that people up here can't actually get you. Or even here. Like people, they, they literally can't see this. Maybe like this, like covering here, for example. They're going to be contesting the site anyways, right? One more important thing that you guys got to know. It's a simple site, okay? C2 is really a simple site. You can do a lot of things, like basically pretty much simple. The fastest way to access that tower is through here. There's this zip line. And then jump straight on this one. And you're up. You see, look at the height advantage. Look how bad that height advantage is. You're literally head collision. You see everything down there. Look, there's, a, there's literally a bot shooting. And I wouldn't just recommend you going up there because you're going to be a easy target for snipers down there. Especially if this is their base, which is in this case. If you're a sniper, that's okay. But if you're playing just generally, I don't recommend you go in there. From here, you won't be able to contest the site. But this is the first place to start. And this is a good first place to start, actually. Uh, you can clear out the site as much as possible. As you can see, I'm doing exactly that. And then you can just jump into the site and start contesting it. And if I want to add something to C2, always try to clear this tower. Like, it doesn't matter if you have contested the site or not. There are people there 
they're going to come back and they're going to contest this site anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to clear that place out first. Or maybe you, you, you can contest the site first and then you have to go up there. Like I've been through this many times. I just get up here with my teammates, my squad mates actually. And we try to clear this place because we know that if this place is not cleared, then C2 is not really contested because they're going to come back and get it. So let's take a look at D now. Okay, D is another very complicated site in my opinion. It's not a site that you can always play in because sometimes it's the enemy's base and you won't even be stepping foot in this place but sometimes it's exactly the opposite the fight's going to be here so considering the fight is here and considering this is the enemy's base this is a bad place for you to be okay because there's going to be a lot of snipers back there down there like vehicles coming from there this is the enemy base right there there are vehicles come in there are snipers there up there on those cranes and that's not a good place for you what you can do instead is being around here this is a perfect place to take cover and have high advantage over the over a big part of the site okay and around the side as well if you want to have some advantage like some height advantage this is not a bad place as well for the, for the other half of the side you see there are people coming well, those bots coming from there and i see all of them now if i had a more capable weapon i'd be able to take even even take them down like an lmg on bipods boom easily there's also this that you can hide in. It's not the best option. Like, this is not the best thing you can do. But if you ever wanted to hide, like, this is a good place. Just literally hide. Also, I wouldn't recommend being down here. Like, defending this side or attacking this side from here. Because, in general, they're going to have a lot of hide advantage over you. That's not something you want. Not really. We can also contest the side from here. This is a perfect place for attacking. It works on defense as well. But attacking, it's it's a whole new level of attacking this place. Look, you're completely head glitched. Uh, the only problem here is that you're going to be able to get flanked from behind yourself which is not something cool you have everything you want in this site covered look at it everything there's like everything for you here and the only issue maybe is you getting flanked if you have teammates around here it's going to be like the the perfect spot in this site and there's one important thing about it is that you're literally just head glitched even people up there with high advantage not going to be able to hit you it's going to be so hard for them as well if you ever wanted to start clearing the site before you get in this is a perfect place uh there's only one way to get up here and it's the zip line you can hold it and you're safe here not considering those snipers actually but if you want to just attack the site fast before getting in this is a perfect place you've got a perfect height advantage over literally everything you're going to clear the site first and then you're going to get it that's how you're going to do it and if i want to give you some general tips here i usually play engineer it actually depends on your play style a lot my experience has taught me that playing engineer here is a lot better because there's just a lot of vehicles it's going to be very easy for list to play here as well and mckay is going to have a lot of good times because the height advantage is just perfect for those mckay players but based on objectives i told you everything Thing I knew. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and hope this was helpful. Do let me know in the comment section if you want to see more guys like this one because this was the kind of video that was literally just new to myself and I was like well people want it why not do it. So I just jumped in and did it for one map and now I'm taking a look at the results and I want to see how this works. If you guys enjoyed do let me know and we're going to have other episodes for other maps as well. Now we're going to start with base game maps and then we're going to go to like Caspian Border and like Valparaiso, Arica Harbor, those kind of stuff. Again, hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, stay cool.